last night, our brand new one show dogman, Jordan, met Roxy, the troublesome rapscallion of a Jack Russell. Terrifying. Time now for when Jordan met Roxy, part two. <laughs> Last night, our dog fixer, Jordan Shelley, met Roxy, whose aggressive behaviour was bringing chaos to the Downey family home. So what would you guys say if um, I said a couple of hours here with you and Roxy and she'd be behaving much better? Go for it. I'd say it's a miracle. First, into the kitchen to work on Roxy's table manners. Jane, we've already seen her going for your feet earlier over the food bowl, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by making her wait for the food as we're going to put it down. Stay. And now we'll invite her in. Come, here you go. And once she's started eating, I'm going to take the bowl off her. Being careful not to hurt Roxy, Jordan puts his feet in the firing line, rather than his hands. Now this time as we go in, I'm going to ask her to leave. Move. When she's ready, we'll start again. Move. Move. Leave it. As she's calming down now, I'm invading her space a little bit more. Whereas before she was running every now and again, I would... Right, come. Leave. She's like backing off a lot quicker now. Is that... Yeah, that, what happens is after a while when they tie down, they stop wanting to come at you as much, and eventually she'll have to give up because I'm not going to. Back. After 45 minutes and a battle of wills, Down. Roxy at last follows Jordan's commands. Right, it's your turn, so you can learn not to have to wear these wellies in the house. <laughs> now what you do is you just tell her to say, stay. Stay. Go on in. Now, quite firmly say back. 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 There you go. Very good. Stay. Next, Jordan moves to the front door and the letterbox. Well, the, the aggression towards the post is about, first of all, the fact that she thinks she owns the door. Right? It's claiming this kind of area here. And also, it's to do the, the terriers have a really strong prey drive and things popping out of holes. It's a very natural thing for them to want to grab and, like, shake onto it. So we're just going to claim this area and claim the post so she knows that she can't attack it the whole time. <laughs> ah, leave. <laughs> That, no, leave. Well, see, what happened was, was because the first thing I challenged her with was the food, that took the longest. Um, and once I managed to challenge her with the food, then everything else is much quicker. On to another territory issue, Samantha's bedroom. I, I can see now that this is a problem, like people coming up to the bed. Yeah. Um, and so what we're going to do is if you send her off, yeah. and we'll send her out together. Yeah. Yeah, to What's kick her off. off. Get off. Shh, out. 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 Okay. Out. 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 See, it's happening much easier. It's actually quite shocking that you've actually got your hand on the bed and she's not growling, because normally even family members can't even get that close. Right, well, let's try with uh, one of your sisters coming over to the bed and saying okay. hello, um, and see how that goes. How's the training going with Jordan? So far, so good. So would you normally get this close when you're coming in to talk to your sister? No, I normally speak to her just at the door. So hopefully this is the end of your long-distance relationship across the bedroom then? <laughs> yeah, well it looks that way now. <laughs> After just three hours, Jordan has brought new order to the Downey household. Well, Roxy was a pretty hard nut to crack, but we got there eventually. And if they need my help, I'll be back. <laughs> 
Well, Jordan, Samantha, and little Roxy are here, and I think you've swapped dogs. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the same dog. It can't be Samantha, is it? Is that? It is the same dog. <laughs> Honestly, under oath, would you say that? Completely. Congratulations, Jordan. Uh, more difficult or less difficult than you thought? Um, actually, a little bit less difficult than I thought. The problem's not normally the dog, it's normally the owner. And when you have people that listen to what you've got to say, then it works really fast. It's the most laid-back dog, dog, laid dog ever on television. Oh, <laughs> just having a little sleep. Now, some people out there might argue that some of your techniques might have been a little aggressive. What would you say to those people? Well, I, I agree with all different techniques of dog training. I mean, there's two schools of thought, uh, dominance-based training and uh, reward-based training. And I believe that finding a balance between the two is really important. Um, and so that with her, in this case, it was more dominance because she was quite aggressive and I had to challenge her. But in other cases, it's like all about reward. So now, famously in America, there's, there's the dog whisperer, Caesar Milan. Yeah. Is he your hero? He is a big idol of mine. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Did yeah. you learn some stuff by watching his shows? I, I, he helped me explain things that I was doing, and I couldn't quite explain them to myself. So right. now, yeah. But when did lot. you first realise that you had this talent of, you know, of training dogs? Well, and how? It sort of started at school um, when I used to walk teachers' dogs instead of sport and lessons and things, and. Uh, that I could get the dogs to behave with each other that they wouldn't normally. Um, and I couldn't explain quite everything that was what I was doing. But after a while, I kind of got comfortable and I watched people doing it and they kind of explained what I was doing for me. But you can't drive. No, I can't. Incredible. I can't control drive. all no, the dogs no. in Great Britain, but you can't drive no, I a can't. car. I can't drive a car. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe somebody else could help you with that. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. Uh, Phil, you haven't got a dog, but you've got a cat. Yeah, Is I've she troublesome? No, not really. She did a runner a while ago. Right, she come um, back? I was in Mallorca at the time, that's probably why she did a runner. Yeah. <laughs> um, she's missing, she's missing me. She's trying to find you. And uh, she went missing for a couple of days, which was a bit worrying. And then uh, my wife texted me to say the cat's, you know, Bonnie, she come back. So I announced it to the entire crew, and this, this huge applause went up from all the crew. Oh, which is you do cats, Jordan? I don't train cats, unfortunately. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Yeah. They're much harder to train as we found out once mm. on this programme, yeah. you remember? We had, the cat, we had the cat agility thing. Oh, yes, we oh. Yeah. Okay, that was interesting, because the owners basically put them down and they, they ran off probably to New York. Well, they are, they're just <laughs> independent, aren't they? They just do their own thing. They're just selfish dogs, are they? Yeah. All right, are you up for more challenges, Jordan? I'm up for lots of challenges. Um, I'd like to see anyone out there who's got a naughty dog, um, what kind of issues they're having. I mean, I'm interested in seeing things like dogs that bark at other dogs on the telly. Um, oh, dogs that won't my dad's got one of those. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> dogs that won't go up and down the stairs, <laughs> you know? To be honest, right, Alex barks at other... Oh. Pre female presenters. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't, you can't hold her down. Unfortunately, I'm not a woman trainer, just dogs. So. You never know. Have you ever tried, Jordan? No, I've never tried. Not yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> By the way, Jordan is single, everyone. So, you know, we checked that out in rehearsal, didn't we? Yeah, we did. If you have got a problem, dog, well, uh, get in touch with us at the usual address. Email's there for you at the bottom of the screen. Thanks very much, Jordan. Back next Thursday, as he says. Yes.